Setting a sequence in Kartra may initially seem intimidating, but it's super simple. It's as easy as dragging and dropping. A sequence is an arrangement of automations to be completed in a certain order with assigned delays. Let's get started with an example of what a sequence would look like in a simple list builder campaign. To create a sequence, let's go to my communications, communications, and sequences. Clicking the large green plus button will bring up a screen where you can name and describe your sequence. Now we're in the sequence builder. Let's drag in a send email card. From here you can set a delay for when the email should be sent. Let's just keep it on right after previous step. Now you can restrict on which days this email is allowed to be sent. By default every day is allowed, but if you, for example, don't want this email to be sent out on weekends, you can simply deselect Saturday and Sunday. From here you can name your broadcast. Now we'll want to select our email gateway. It is important that you have this email gateway properly configured before going live with your campaign. You can learn more about this by going to email SMTP gateways in the description below. Now we can select our recipients. From this step, you can filter out your recipients based on criteria, for example, if they are subscribed to a certain list. But for this example, we're just going to select anyone reaching this step and click Add. You can also choose to include leads that have not agreed to receive communications from you by selecting the GDPR and CCPA's notice. Please use this with caution. Now we can configure a split test. A split test is where you have two or more separate versions of the same email each randomly or equally split between your leads. The purpose of the split test is to determine which email did the best in converting leads. This way you can determine which email to proceed with in future campaigns. For this tutorial, we're just going to select single email. From here you can create your email. You can learn more about creating your email in the description. We're going to include a link to a page here at a later stage where your leads can download a free product. After configuring your email, you can set automations. We'll skip this step for now. Now we'll want to connect the sequence to the starting rules. You can do this by clicking and dragging on the hemisphere below the starting rules and connecting it to the one above your email card. Now that that's done, we'll want to activate the step by hovering over the three dots on the card and clicking activate. To keep things neat, we can click this button to arrange everything neatly. Let's add a split to filter our leads. I'll add a delay of three days and allow it every day. Here are the split conditions. From here we can define what will let the leads through the true side and those through the false side. For this example, we'll see if the leads clicked the link included in the previous email. To do this, we can select has clicked link in the thank you communication. Now we can select the specific link or just any link on the page. Now we have a split function on the sequence. Let's connect it to the previous step and arrange. Now you can send a follow-up email if they have not clicked the link in the previous email by dragging and connecting an email card to the full step of the split. You can include more in the true step if, for example, you want to follow up on if the leads enjoyed the free product or send an upsell to your main product. Once that's done, you can add a complete card to both sides of the split to ensure that the sequence gets marked as complete in the lead's profile once they've reached the last step. Now the sequence is complete. If you've been following along, don't forget to add the link to your download page in the emails. To connect the sequence, you can do this by either connecting it inside a form, an automation, or within the sequence itself. For this example, I'm just going to do it from within the sequence and connect it to a form. Now whenever someone completes a form, they'll be sent an email with the download link. If they do not click the link in the email, they'll be sent a follow-up email prompting them to download it. If they did download it, they'll complete the sequence.